Hello friends, welcome to our lab. So we are going to be measuring isotonic and isometric con um, contractions. That's the word, contractions. Um, so remember, isotonic are multiple. So like running or lifting weights would be isotonic because you're doing repetition. And then isometric would be um, like resistance, right? So if you push both your hands together like this and push really hard, uh, that your muscles are like skidding. Those sarcomeres aren't contracting all the way. They're trying to. Uh, that is an isometric contraction. So you will see linked on the haiku page my handy dandy self-drawn uh, data table. So if you don't have a printer or if you have a printer but don't want to print, you can make your own uh, data tables, and then on the Google form for the post lab, I'm going to have you take a picture and upload them. I'll probably have a picture for isotonic and isometric. Um, if you read through the lab, you'll notice that it says to use a tennis ball. I do happen to have a tennis ball at my house, so my isotonic would be squeezing the tennis ball multiple times for 30 seconds and see how many I can get. Uh, tennis ball is an option. But you don't have to have a tennis ball. I know many of you probably don't. So I also have this cork ball. Um, it's used to like roll out muscles. It would work. It has less give than the tennis ball, uh, but it, it would still work. Uh, another thing, another idea, is if you have any stuffed animals hanging around or some stuffed plush something. Uh, so I have the common cold. And I'm going to, you could use this to squeeze. Uh, notice it has more give than the tennis ball. Um, but, you know, it, it'll, it'll do. It'll work. And then if you don't have any stuffed animals hanging out, I also have a pair of socks. Uh, these are fuzzy socks, so they have, and they're long, right? So they're longer socks that are bigger. Uh, so I just balled those guys up. And these will also work. You just want something that'll like take up the like the palm of your hand, uh, so you can get a good squeeze. Uh, so you are going to first do isotonic. Uh, you're gonna do the number of times you can squeeze the thing in 30 seconds. You want to do 10 trials in succession. So you don't want to like take 30 seconds and then rest for a minute, and then take another 30 seconds and rest for a minute. You want these as quickly in succession as possible, just with time to write down the number of squeezes um, you got because we're looking at fatigue. Um, when you're done, make any other observations. So like, oh, my arm's red, or oh, I can see my veins like more than I could before, or oh, my arm feels really tired. So any other qualitative observations, and then make a graph. Uh, can see on my data sheet, I got a little graph area right here with the trial number on the x-axis and the number of squeezes on the y-axis. Um, the lab is set up to be in like a group of four, sorry, Chester's tail just uh, went in front of the webcam. So lab is set up to be in a group of four. Uh, I know that many of you are probably not having four people in your house right now. So feel free to like get any siblings or parents or anybody that's at your house to participate with you. Uh, you can also, if you don't have anybody to participate with, um, feel free to reach out to anyone uh, that you have class with and see if they would share their data with you. That way you get more than one uh, one data point. I want you to try to get at least two, ideally four if you can, but at least two uh, individuals who will participate with you. So you're gonna answer all of the uh, isometric stuff first, and then there's some post lab questions to answer. You can just do that on a loose leaf piece of paper. And then, also do the iso, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Isotonic first, multiple contractions first, answer post lab questions, and then do isometric. So that's just holding, oh, there's Chester, holding uh, for as long as you can for a contraction. Um, so like I would start, I would start timing. I would squeeze as hard as I could for as long as I could. And when my arm felt like it had to let go, I would let go. Obviously don't hurt yourself. Um, 
yeah, so there will be a Google form to upload all of your data and your graphs and your post lab questions. Um, remember to use your Heron email. If you don't know your Heron email, email helpdesk at heronhighschool.org and they should help you out. If you have any questions, as always, email me. I have office hours every day from 1 to 2 p.m. on Google Hangout. There will be a live link that you can click on if you have troubles uh, with the lab. Email me if you have questions. I hope that you all feel okay and that you're doing well. I will see you later.